Good day folks, this is Greg Judy at Green Pastures Farm. Get ready to do a sheep move here on the four-wheeler and uh, we got our dog boxes here hooked on our dog sled. That is a sheep proof guardian dog feeder. And uh, we got some puppies here that are in training. You see the, the rubber drags that keeps them keeps them home and keeps them in the sheep. There's a bunch of more mature dogs up there in the sheep. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna take off here. Yep. Yep. Say, uh, we never have had a a dog that uh, hurt them. They just kind of follow us That's the way we train them. The sheep, that is. Hey. We're looking pretty close to the end of March and uh, we're about 30, 35 days, 40 away from uh, lambing. So uh, we're going to have a bunch of little ones running around out here pretty soon. And it's wet out here. But that's the beautiful thing about sheep. Uh, they don't tear up your farm. I mean, if you look out across here, they haven't tore this up at all. They've been in here uh, two days. I guess this will be the third. It's at noon. So two, two and a half days. Heard the turkeys gobbling this morning, so we're, we're right there at spring now. This was uh, grazed by cattle uh, not too long ago. I guess it's, I say too long ago. It's probably been six weeks. But uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring these sheep up here. You can see which side of the fence they've been on. <laughs> you look out there, um, getting some pretty good spring green in there. Uh, we're gonna go down the hill here and. Uh, got to hook this wire we'll see what we got right down here yeah they're not on the dam at all okay so I'll show you our, what we did here we actually put the wire down in the pond so the sheep hate water they just absolutely despise it and so this makes a real good corner post for sheep As you can see, the, the, the ponds come up a little bit since we put that in. <laughs> We've had some water. Man, look at the pollywogs. See them? All kinds of pollywogs. Hundreds of them. Anyway, this, this is our corner post. So there's a, there's a, a post at an angle that's a step in up against that pigtail. There's no way you're going to make a sheep go after and go around that wire. So this is one side of the fence and clear across that pond over there on the other side is another fence going up the hill same way out in the pond so what we're going to do is we're going to leave this fence in we're not going to take that up but we're going to go down here by the lake there's a there's a lake over the hill here and we're going to reel that reel up we're going to leave all the posts in and just take the wire up and as soon as the sheep go busting through we're going to put that uh, reel right back in on these posts and put this wire back up and you can see you know we've got our sheet broke to one wire uh, it's about 12 inches off the ground and I'm telling you every sheep in there could easily duck underneath that and go they could just go but see they still got feed over there they're they're not starving and they know we're gonna feed them so that's why they stay in. If you go longer than two or three days, it's probably not going to work. They're going to get out. So we're going to go down the hill and uh, grab the reel and just reel it up. To, we're going to leave every post in and just reel the wire up to about where this foil is at. And once the sheep go through, then we just stick it back on the post. So we are, I guess you would say, you know, that is an effective back fence. 
for not letting them go back to where they were at. It was springtime. That needs rest. And uh, we drove over here today. Uh, this is the lifetime lease. Uh, the back of it. And uh, I'm telling you what. The front part of this farm is just cranking. It is beautiful. So I would say in about five more days. Uh, we're going to be able to bring them sheep back up toward the road. And that's when we probably will try and get the bulls in here too. The bulls are over at the Judy farm right now, but we'd like to have just, you know, two herds, the, the cow mob and then the flurred, the, the, the sheep and the, the bulls together. So, hoping, well, you know, it's, it all depends on the weather. They're saying three more days of rain this week. So, man, if it's raining like that, you just, it's, it's tough to get a trailer in and the mud and, and, the, and the muck and it's just hard to, and you put a, a load of bulls in a trailer, you're talking, you know, 15, 12, 15,000 pounds. <clears throat> That's a lot of weight. So, gotta watch the weather. This is a beautiful area back here. I just love it. Um, it's just an awesome. Some people call this a pond. I don't care what you call it. Rucker, we call this a lake. <laughs> Anything. Anything over an acre at Rucker is a lake. All right? I know, if you all live up by the Great Lakes, you're probably snickering, but that's all right. We like our lake. <laughs> I tell you what, that sucker's deep. Look at the dam on that. I mean, there's 25, 30 foot of water out there. And this pond never drops. It just stays that way all the time. <clears throat> Jan's gonna go down there and unhook that reel. Cause I'm doing the video and I guess she could have done done the video and I could be rolling up the reel but she just volunteered or I volunteered her I guess <laughs> so this this particular dam here it's got a eight inch pipe right there on that dam and so it goes through the dam I can hear it down there below you can see that white pipe down there it's actually coming out that pipe so this water never gets high enough that it goes over that dam. It always goes through that pipe right there first. But uh, yeah, this is just a beautiful area back here. It's surrounded by big white oak timber. I always see a lot of deer and turkey back here. And it's just a, just a dang, just a dang pretty place, I can tell you. It's a good place to come back here at night and pull you up a chair and catch you a nice catfish. Or bass or whatever you want to catch. So Jan's working all the way up the hill here. And uh, you can tell that this right here has never had any hay put on it. Uh, it doesn't get a lot of impact on the animals. And the reason I can tell that, look right here. See all that? That's moss. So it tells me the pH on this soil right here is extremely low. But, you know, how are you going to get... How are you gonna get stuff down in here? I mean, it's, it's this is the tough. This is steep right here. And you get a big bale started down this hill, you might end up in that lake. <laughs> that, or going through that fence or down through the brush. I mean, you get going down a steep hill, and there's a fence at the bottom. You better hope you hit the gate, because if you don't, that big bale is gonna push you right through where it wants to go. So I'd be a little bit spooky bringing a big bale down this ridge. Maybe not if you had a truck. But boy, it's been so wet this year, folks. You just can't get anything but a four-wheeler out on our pastures without tearing the ground up. So, we are so fortunate <clears throat> to have moderate frame cows and the ATV bale on roller when we do need to feed hay. Cows are grazing today, and uh, the bulls will be shortly. We get them over here with these sheep. We're gonna be in tall cotton here pretty soon. So, pretty excited about that. <clears throat> I think this has been one of the wettest winters on record. Uh, I don't remember one being this muddy. And I know there's a lot of people <clears throat> that are, are a lot worse off than us. Um, I think I shared with some of y'all, there was a fellow down south that Told me the only place he could unroll hay was on his driveway. 
you know, my golly, that's wet. In other words, every field on his farm is nothing but muck. So he was unrolling hay on the driveway just to feed his animals. You know, that's that's called doing what you got to do. You know, that guy, he persevered and he's going to be better off because of it. Look at these sheep, they're all up here like, Jan, could you, could you pick it up a notch? <laughs> Folks, I just uh, was walking up this hill. It's, you know, it's nothing big, but see this? Okay. I just picked that up. Uh, you didn't have to, but I do. When you're on lease farms, you see paper trash or anything laying around a can uh, or somebody's throwing something down on the ground, by God, pick it up. I mean, you want this place to look like a park. And it does. I mean... Look at this, it's just beautiful back here. It wasn't always this way. Uh, the landowner, <clears throat> he took his vacation. He would come up here and he would cut cedars with me. We'd have fires going, thorn trees, you name it. And it was funny, Steve would take the whole week and come up here and say, people where he worked at, what are you gonna do on your vacation? He said, I'm gonna go cut brush and burn thorn trees and like that doesn't sound very much fun to me but by god steve is in heaven and i was too because we were making pasture we were making the place better and when you can make a place better just by cutting some of the brush off and opening up these pastures it's unbelievable um steve's dad <clears throat> was a really neat old guy in the name of tom everybody called him T.E. And uh, when he bought this farm, what you're, what you're looking at here, that was all trees. Look at trees, look at this. And he cleared it. He cleared it with a chainsaw. And he had these little stoves that he'd put up around the stump. So he cut the stump off about two foot high. And he put a little stove around it as an old water heater. And he built a fire inside that water heater pipe. And he'd feed that whole tree back onto that stump as he got the fire going. Isn't that beautiful? But thanks to T.E., I've got some pasture right here. This is all just brush and timber. He cleared it. I remember going by his farm 25 years ago when he was still living here. And you would see seven little smokestacks. He always had a fire going. And what it was, every one of those smokestacks was a tree. That he'd cut and he was feeding it back in there feeding it back on top of that stump and he created some beautiful pasture back here it's just unbelievable but that's what he liked doing you know and i understand that i know what it feels like it's a great feeling to take some brush and open it up and have this are you kidding me growing food Open it up and having the solar collector. And look at these sheep. They're pretty dang happy. Pretty darn happy. Well, those are just fat. That's a fat sheep there. I like fat sheep. <laughs> Jan, Jan's up there dealing with that dog. There's one of those dogs, that one in the feet of there. She, she definitely is the, the ringleader. I mean, she... She eats before anybody else does. She's going to, she's camped out right there. And it wasn't like those things were empty. They weren't. But, but she's a... Uh, Guard. She's just master. Yeah, she's master. You can see there's, there's feet in there. It's nice and dry. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. You're the boss girl. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up, Jan. Let me finish this and I'll help you. You don't need to force that in there. Just a beautiful day. The sun's finally out. This is our first sunny day all week. Folks, when you get a sunny day out of five, you really appreciate it. And uh, I think I'm going to end up with that. But, uh, I don't see the sheep eating over here. Just nibbling away like crazy. Yeah, yeah. You can see how fast they're, they eat and graze differently than cattle do.
just as fast as the little mouths go. They go after it. But, uh, yeah, so everyone, this is Greg Judy signing off. And uh, on the way out, if you're a new subscriber, welcome to our channel. And if you like what you saw, subscribe, hit that like button, appreciate it. And uh, a kudos to all you folks out there. Uh, thanks for being loyal. And we just hit 30,000 subscribers this week. So that's a big milestone. Thank you all. And uh, keep your heads up. Be safe. Stay away from large crowds. Tell your family members you love them. And we're going to get through this thing just fine. And we're going to look back and we're all going to be stronger for it. So everyone have a great one. Take care.